eggs will produce 10 kg of larvae. Hello, good evening everyone. Back with me again Adi from Black Soldier Fly Colony. Uh, this is the channel that focus talking about black soldier flies and today I want to talk with you about the populations yeah because uh, it's related to many whatsapp coming to me and asking about how many kg of uh, organic waste will reduce with how many larvae is that true that a hundred k of larvae can produce something kg of organic waste yeah actually it's a bit confusing yeah for me because i never calculate larvae piece by piece yeah as you can see here with these calculations of larvae yeah how many k of this larvae on my hand? Of course, I. It's hard to 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 count piece by piece. Yeah, but uh, I have experience to calculate that. That if you hatch 2.5 grams of eggs and grow it once they hatch, this 2.5 of grams will produce. 10 kg of larvae so 10 kg of larvae come from 2.5 grams of eggs and 1 kg of larvae adult larvae uh, when we harvest in 15 days so 15 days this is the, sa the stage before prepupae when you harvest um, Average 1 kg is uh, 7 k uh, of larvae. So 2.5 grams of eggs will produce 10 kg of larvae. And 1 kg of larvae is 7 k of larvae. So it means that 2.5 grams will produce 70 k of uh, larvae if you have 2.5 grams and hatch at the beans and then grow it uh, they hatch and grow here and move into the biopons at the edge of eggs of this larvae if you give them if you feed them with organic waste like uh, fruit vegetables from market from traditional market market for 2.5 grams it means for 70 k populations of larvae will need 5 to 7 kg of organic waste from traditional market like fruit like vegetables every day start from the age of egg of this larvae I see uh, populations of BSF here around me. Look. One female of these black soldier flies, they will lay eggs. In theory, per female will lay eggs for 500 to 900 of eggs and make, make some cluster yeah so one cluster in theory 500 to 900 but in my experience one cluster the quantity of eggs per cluster is 700 700 per female 700 eggs per cluster in theory 500 to 900 you can imagine why why scientists made these uh, calculations yeah it almost double 500 to 900 because 
there are so much things determine these calculations here. The size of prepupae will determine the size of flies, the size of flies, uh, the size of females, of course, will determine the quantity of eggs. But it, in my experience, if we give them enough food, proper quantity of food, since they at the stage of larvae, uh, they will grow into a good size of prepupae, good size of uh, flies when uh, these pupae emerge, and in normal activity like this, per female will laying eggs around 700 per cluster per females. Yeah. So you can calculate here yeah, if you want to calculate how many cluster will produce one kg of larvae. One cluster is 700 eggs, and one kg of larvae is. 7k of larvae so to produce so to produce 1k of larvae you will be, you will need 10 cluster of eggs and to produce 10 kilograms of larvae you will need 100 cluster of um, eggs yeah but daily you will not calculate like this you will not calculate cluster per cluster grams per grams but all this knowledge is a basic knowledge you have to know when you are doing these cultivations because you can control the populations, the, the proper populations in these bins and the bioponds. You can calculate the proper quantity of food of uh, maggot. But in daily activity like this, in my farm and also at your farm when you run this cultivations you will not calculate day by day all the thing you have to prepare is to calculate the proper size of the flight case the proper size of uh, uh, pre pupa ponds where you produce the pupae as a seed and put in the flight cage and it will determine your daily target of eggs your, your daily target of larvae every day. Once you harvest the eggs from the fly sketch, you will not calculate day by day because it takes a lot of work. It takes uh, spend a lot of time of uh, your workers, yeah, and it will not efficient. I have eggs, flies eggs here, yeah, which is this eggs is hatched already, yeah. Uh, when you harvest the flies eggs uh, the color will bright yellow yeah fresh yellow and you can see here it's hatched already yeah it's around 20 grams here of eggs sometime i scratch and calculate to check yeah the every the daily uh, productions yeah to control daily productions but uh, every day I never scratch the the eggs yeah when we harvest because by scratching the eggs from the wooden block like this some eggs will be damaged yeah because they are very small yeah but when you control how many grams daily you harvest the eggs from the fly cage you can scrape this once every week, yeah, maybe or two every week, yeah, uh, to make sure your daily target is stable, stable and on your target, yeah, your daily production target every day of eggs, of course related to your daily target uh, of productions of larvae every day, yeah, how many grams you have to produce from the fly cage will determine how many kg of larvae uh, you can produce every day so you have to make a uh, target standard target of productions of eggs productions so you can control so 2.5 grams of eggs 
will produce 10 kg of larvae okay 2.5 grams will produce 10 kg of larvae uh, sometime I can I, I give some spare yeah I said 2.5 to 3 grams of eggs will produce 10 kg of larvae because yeah I believe that maybe some of these eggs is infertile uh, some of eggs will, are broken maybe I we can calculate one by one yeah because they are very small hatching percentage also I never calculate so if you give some spare uh, it will be better yeah 2.5 to 3 grams of egg will produce 10 kg of larvae so guys this is the basic calculations I will repeat 2.5 grams of eggs will produce 10 kg of uh, larvae start from the edge of egg this larvae need average 5 to 7 kg of uh, organic waste if you use a kind of uh, waste from traditional market like vegetables fruit for manure like cow dung chicken manure it takes uh, more than that yeah because manures cow dung chicken manure has a low nutrients if you give them with the same quantity with this with the kind of organic waste from traditional market the grow of your larvae will be slow slower yeah so if you use cow dung manure better you mix with the uh, organic waste not the organic waste like uh, organic waste from traditional market so you you will have a good nutrient better nutrient of your organic waste and food waste it has a better nutrient than organic uh, than organic waste like uh, like fruit like uh, vegetables of course like uh, manure yeah if you can collect and use food waste your larvae will be grow very very good healthy fast and a big size yeah because food waste has a complete nutrient carbohydrate protein and complete nutrient yeah so uh, guys this is the short video maybe the short video can answer some questions yeah maybe you have a uh, questions like uh, populations maybe you have a uh, questions according to the populations and related to the food you need to prepare for maggots yeah okay guys i hope this short video is uh, useful for you see you in the next video thank you mm -hmm.